Captain Manili. Most, if not all, new buildings in the military have a ribbon cutting ceremony. You have the speaker, in this region. the applause, and of course, the slice. But this ceremony was actually for this plain white trailer, and what's inside took a lot of people to get here. This was a great team effort amongst uh, multi different services to bring this multi million dollar project over here to evaluate the traumatic brain injury. What Commander Stein is talking about is called a 1.5 Tesla. It's the first MRI in the Afghanistan theater of operations. In the combat environment, uh, we're, we're finding issues related to a blast type injury. And so it, we have a brand new type of a mechanism that we haven't really put our arms completely around. This type of imaging will help us to do that better than we ever have been able to before. While CAT scans are used on patients with acute head injuries, the addition of the first MRI in theater will help patients who don't necessarily show symptoms right away. The true value of MRI is its ability to characterize tissues uh, one from another, uh, blood products versus brain tissues that something like CT or the other modalities don't, can't even get anywhere near seeing. And with service members in harm's way in Afghanistan, TBI is a reality, one that Commander Wei hopes to shed a clear view on what problems may exist that they couldn't have found otherwise. Hopefully with a combination of the information that we receive from these folks here, uh, coupled with what we already know about traumatic brain injury, we can make that difference. This new addition to NATO medical facilities in Afghanistan not only provides faster exam times and higher performance imaging, it also strengthens our ability to help our wounded warriors. Tech Sergeant Jason David, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.